Every champion was once a contender that refused to give up. A line from the boxing movie Rocky Balboa resonates with a young boxer from Milwaukee who, as Stephanie Rodriguez discovered, is committed to leaving everything in the ring for his career, family, and hometown. My name is Rolando Vargas. People know me, Nano. My dream is to become world champion. Nano Vargas, a 23-year-old, ready to take on the world, no matter how much it hurts. I don't like getting punched, but I'll take the hit. Boxing is in his blood, and he's never taken it lightly. He was just a little boy when the sport became his escape. I was around three years old. My dad taught me at a young age. My dad used to train my brother when he was younger, and I would always look at them training. Uh, I would get excited about it. So since a young age, my dad started teaching me, you know, after work, he would come home tired, but I'll bother him to train me, and he was willing to put in, you know, the effort. I always knew that's what I wanted to do. I was little, three years old. The gloves were up to my elbows. I couldn't even hold them up, but it was a good time. What does he love about boxing? Everything. Most of all, it teaches you discipline, you know? It teaches you how to, uh, how to eat right, how to, how to train, how to stay focused. You know, it keeps people off the streets. And he grew up with his favorite boxer, his dad. Rolando Vargas Sr. was a professional boxer in Mexico, passing down his skills, more importantly, his wisdom. I always wanted to be like my dad. He uh, really inspired me. He was a great person, and, you know, I took a lot of advice from him. Hard work beats talent. That's something my dad always told me, you know. It doesn't matter how talented you are, but if you're undisciplined and you don't put in the work, it's going to come a guy or a girl that uh, is putting in more work than you. They may not have the same skills or the same years of experience, but they're going to get you. Those sage words becoming a way of life for his son. I like to say I sacrificed a lot of my youth to be in the sport of boxing. I didn't really, you know, growing up, hang out with many friends. They didn't stay into after school programs. Nothing really like that. Uh, I couldn't do any other sports because I wanted to dedicate myself to boxing, so all other sports were off. And I look at it as uh, one day it's going to be worth it, you know. You sacrifice a few years of comfort for decades of freedom. Yeah, I really want to, you know, give my family the life they never thought they would ever have. I feel like 80% of the reason I do this boxing is because I want, you know, my family to have a good life. I want my kids to have a good life, my kids' kids, for generations to have a good life, that they'll be able to, you know, go to school and pick a career they want to do. Those closest to him, like older brother Johnny Vargas, can feel the drive behind each and every punch. See him grow in the sport, it was an amazing thing. You know, since he was little, grabbing the big gloves, barely fit him at the age of three, four, and, you know, just becoming a uh, master in the craft. Yeah, I could see that he was something special. A lot of people, you know, just don't have the abilities he has. He's one to make it far in the sport of boxing. Vargas's dreams extend beyond the ring to his city. I wasn't born here, but I was raised here. I met a lot of people, really good people. I made a lot of friends. You know, I made friends that I treat like family now. When he got into boxing, he actually said he wanted to fight in Milwaukee, his hometown. Before going pro, he left his mark in the amateur boxing arena. I did 161 amateur fights in total. I had 20 loss out of the 161. I won the 2017 Junior Olympics. That was uh, probably one of my biggest accomplishments. Around 2017, 2018, I won uh, the WBC amateur tournament. That was another big accomplishment for me. At 19, Everything went up a notch when he became a professional boxer. It's a lot of training, more discipline. You know, got to take things more serious. It gets more dangerous. You know, the gloves get smaller, no headgears. It's a whole nother level. Day in and day out, you can find him here, practicing, preparing, making sure he's ready when the bell rings. I train six to seven days a week and like two to three times a day. The hard work is done in the gym, all the training, running, conditioning, stamina you get. And then in the fight is the easiest thing. You know, you just fight, you show up and you fight. But the hardest part is the training, the diets. Right now, he's nine and one. With more fights on the horizon, 
He knows 2023 is going to be the year of Bruce City boxer Nano Vargas. I want to put Milwaukee on the map for boxing. It's one of my main goals. So I want to do bigger fights with uh, a higher level of opponents. You know, the more you fight, the more harder your fights get. So it's going to be a great year. Friendship is.